Hey, Mom, look at me, I'm dancing! Hello! Interns, how much of that did they see? Ah, interns, welcome to another special episode of me, the Dr. Surgeon MD, and my medical lecture series on uh, surgical techniques and medical ethics. Today on Surgical Techniques, how to drain the blood from your victim without draining all the blood from your victim. Also on today, the ethics of murder. Is it? Um, <laughs> that's a quality joke. Write that down. RJ Cody, my social media manager told me not to expect you because you were going off into the, the, the strange distance somewhere. Is everything all right? I hope you're doing all right. Anyway, welcome one and all to the Dr. Surgeon MD's medical lecture series on surgical techniques and medical ethics. Today, we continue our experiment on ourselves, our unlife. Uh, of course, in the wake of a night of passion with someone trying to replicate what I had with Trisha, I have become a vampire. It's wild. I've been embraced into Clan Tremere, um, got a, a sweet shirt, and I'm running around. The city of Los Angeles just, just, I don't know, just sucking face. What am I trying to say here? Sucking neck. We're trying to get our feet out from, you know, we're trying to get our feet under us. And um, it's going pretty well so far, I'd say. We've got some magical powers. I've managed to find ways of using this power of uh, draining the life force from another human and weaponize it. Now, medicine is not about weaponizing the human body, but in this case, we have to survive. So I use everything I can. Blood bolts, uh, making people vomit, horrible. That's absolutely horrible. We'll discuss the ethics of this later as well. In trans, I want you to make sure that you have drinks. Today, of oh, hello. Hmm. Uh, it's a good point, turtle. Well, you never know what might happen. We could go to the club. We could meet someone. Perhaps we'll meet another vampire like us. Someone who is becoming slowly and surely a monster. Graspy Loot asks, I have this problem where I'm anemic and looking at sunlight really hurts. Can you check it out? Of course I can check it out, Graspy Loot. Are there any other symptoms? If not, and you know, don't worry about it. These two things point me towards a very serious presenting condition of agoraphobia. Now, agoraphobia, as we all know, is the uh, unreasonable fear of outdoor spaces. Obviously, there are some outdoor spaces one should be afraid of. The market, for example, or a football stadium. American football, obviously. British football, it's better, and I'm not afraid of it. The oh, the turtle does know. Well, that's, that is very exciting. Oh, that's right, we were doing the turtle and the hare. We were doing a whole Aesop's fable thing last time. Graspy loot. Recommendation, uh, some people use sort of um, what they call acclimatization therapy, so they expose themselves to uh, light uh, exposures to their phobia over time. I say cold turkey. I say uh, jump out of an aeroplane. There's no bigger space, and you're going to have to survive. Now, if the sensitivity to light does hurt you, I would suggest trying skydiving at night. You also have this issue where you get wooden sticks in your heart, you get paralyzed. Well, that actually happens to quite a few people. Um, thin blooditis, yeah, that's also very tough. Um, I would recommend if you are to skydive at night, uh, try to pick your landing zone so that there are very few wooden sticks pointing up. A tree, uh, some botanists would describe trees as large leafy sticks, or extremely large leafy sticks or L's, that's E-L-L-S. I'll put it in the chat so you can all see what I'm talking about. That's extremely large leafy sticks. Uh, so you want, to be, you want to be aware of those, but of course I am not a botanist. I'm a doctor, damn it! Let's get to it! Previously on, oh. Right, good, 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 Graspy Loot, yeah. You pro probably should avoid Dracula's front yard anyway. Oh, right, all this, I was going to say, it's very important for you to have a drink while you're here, all right? Liquids uh, are obviously at the basis of life. We came from the water, and to the water we shall return. <laughs> Especially if you go swimming at night. I, 
<laughs> what am I saying? No, don't even. Uh, so I have several drinks here. This is water, which, of course, my body can no longer handle, so I won't be drinking any of that. Uh, that's actually a very thinned down blood plasma. And in here, you wouldn't believe it. I'm not drinking tea today. I know, but don't worry. I have something equally delicious. I thought to celebrate my new unlife, I should hashtag spoil myself. So I bought myself some very nice British white hot chocolate. It is rich. It is delicious. And I can't get enough of this stuff. Ah, tastes like bone marrow. All right. Now, as always, uh, I'm going to need people to let me know if the sound balance is all right. Let's have a quick look. Ooh, that guy is not looking so good. What's going on there, buddy? You all right? You, you all right? Do you think I can just uh, feed in public here? That's correct, uh, the turtle. It's white chocolate, but heated. I know. What advances in the century we live in. Ah, uh, yes, for many years, chocolate was just something that people had to make do with when it was cold and hard and in bar form. Horrible. I hate it. Megahertz computing. <gasps> it's locked. Just like a computer store to be locked. <gasps> Someone's coming down the alley. No, damn it! No, come down the alley! G excuse me! Excuse me, sir. Sir, would you like to see... This isn't going to go well, eh? <laughs> He's right there. That that feels... I'm just going to... No, that's correct, Thanatos. Hello. Welcome to the Dr. Surgeon MD's medical lecture series on surgical techniques and medical ethics. Kung Fu Fenris, welcome. We were discussing the surgical technique of feeding, draining the human body of some, but not all of its blood. Uh, what was I doing here? And, uh, we were also going to, um, oh yes, we were going to discuss the ethics of said action. Uh, enjoy. The turtle, you have to trust me on this, all right? As a doctor, I know everything that needs be known. There are some things I do not know, but they do not need to be known. You understand what I'm trying to tell you. And if I tell you that chocolate used to come in bars, you have to trust me on this, all right? I've been alive for well on 40 plus years, all right? Just trust me on this, all right? Oh, liquid chocolate. Have you ever heard of a cacao bean? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I, I, well, all right, all right, the turtle. I can see that we're not going to see eye to eye on this, so I'm going to have to. We're going to have to take one of each other's eyes so that we can. You know, there's the expression "walk a mile in a man's shoes." Miles are American, so I don't like that expression. I prefer the British equivalent: walk a kilometer with your enemy's eyeball in your head, and vice versa. It's a, it's a it's a clunkier phrase. I'm sure it's nicer in in Latin. Uh, but the, the idea is the same. Make sure that you can each see each other's perspective. Now, what I was here to do... <laughs> Me too, the turtle. <laughs> Me too, that's why I want one in my head. All right, now, the whole point of this was quick save. That's the ticket. Uh, we're going to try this. It's going to go poorly, but I'm just going to try. Okay, here we go. Quick save and... Okay. And run! Run, run! Run, Doc! Excellent work, Doc! Nobody saw you! I don't think. Okay, we're just going to... We're just going to assume that nobody saw me uh, feeding just there. We can discuss the ethics of this at length. Uh, I just want to, of course, catch everyone up here on what we've been doing. So, we're here... Um, I was going to say exalted into, embraced into Clan Tremere, fantastic scientists, people of the medical slash occult professions, big fan. Uh, and we have a few things that we're going to sort of investigate. Yes, the turtle. Well, to a certain extent. Yes, the turtle. Were you here last time? We had a, we had a nice long chat with Jack. He explained everything we need to know. We did a sort of tutorial if you will. Oh, okay, okay, good, good. Sorry, I couldn't, I, I, I can never remember who's uh, there at what time, you understand. 
Uh, but yes, yeah, yeah. well, he explained certainly what, what it is. And anyway, there you go. Uh, right, so Mercurio's not doing well. We have to go retrieve the astrolite that he was supposed to get. We're going to either try to talk or kill. That should be interesting. Mercurio needs some painkillers. Oh, interesting. Yeah, he told us to go feed on rats. He told us to go feed on a, a homeless man down the stairs. He said, oh, there's better blood and there's worse blood, which I thought was very ethically murky, but, you know, a bit beyond the lecture series. Right. You rescued Carson from the clutches of deranged Stan Gimble. You should report back to Arthur. Now, this is exciting. We went to go visit Stan Gimble, the prosthetics man, and he tried to kill me, wielding an arm. Oh, 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 you scared the hell out of me. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Do you need something? Yeah, uh, 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 I'm okay, I'm just... Oh, man, wait, say that again. Uh, okay, I'm looking for someone. Oh, man, you, you're a vampire, aren't you? Excuse me? <laughs> what the vampire, what the, what the hell are you smoking? Oh, man, you are too. Don't bullshit me, man. <laughs> just come clean, you know I mean? Oh, man. I ain't gonna tell no one. It's okay, man. Uh, I'm gonna turn the audio up, I think, a little bit, eh? What the hell? Who is this strange, strange, strange man? All right, I suppose we'll talk. Hell yeah! Oh, man! I knew it! I just... Oh, jeez, I knew you were... I just could tell I... Oh, man, this is great! And we should, uh, I think Nox, uh, we should, we should probably go somewhere, sir. Uh, hi, Cobalt, welcome. I actually understand what that means. I'm also often full of energy. Currently, it's because my body is uh, integrating the life force of another human. But normally, I'm also, okay. Ah, the euphoria that is experienced. That's of course it, yes, and... The turtle, he was in the middle of urinating. Typically a very positive feeling, especially when you really need to go. Yeah, exactly, Cobalt. There you go. Uh, so the... So, so how, do you, how do you know all I'm this? Ghoul. I didn't know about any of this stuff until a couple What is a ago. ghoul? This guy just appeared and... In character. Well, well, what is a ghoul? Bam! Whoa, man! Vampires are real and right there in front of my eyes! There's people all around you, Knox. Sorry, Mr. Harrington. This is this just feels like a bad idea. What 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 is a ghoul? Well, the way it was explained to me, whenever a vampire lets a human drink some of their vampire blood, the human gains a little vampire power. Uh -huh. Can heal up quick and that kind of stuff. Jeez, oh man. And they're a ghoul. And, ooh, watch out. Yikes. Um. Okay. So this doesn't seem like a good thing. I'm just gonna put that out there. Um. Yikes. Y yeah, you, you, well, you seem to be having a great oh, time. Man, after that first date of vampire blood, it's like the best drug. Oh, man, I'm telling you, it's like... Well, it I mean, I do, I love this man's energy. Like you know, he is, he is oh ready God, to go. Ah, oh, you can't see the subtitles. Hang on, hang on, just, just a moment. I'm going to fix that. We'll go up here in the corner again. And hopefully this doesn't interfere anymore. Back to it. Uh, is, who is this nasty dude? Oh, man! I really wish I could tell you. Oh. But I don't think I'm supposed to. But it's really oh, cool to be talking to you just... Well, because I don't get a lot of chance to talk to vampires. Oh, man! Well, other than my master. So I thought I'd just say, you know, what's up? <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, you, you can tell me, though. I, 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 I'm a professional vampire. I've been a vampire for many... Centuries, Nox, hey, you should man. tell me. Just because I'm a ghoul and you're some cool vampire, you don't need to treat me like crap. Okay? Whoa, whoa, all right, so he's on a hair trigger. I'm, I didn't realize that feeding on vampire blood would put you on a hair trigger like this. So I'm sorry, but what are you doing? I probably shouldn't tell you this. Oh, but you're going to. Mission for my Ooh. Well, hey, it's been great talking to you, man. Oh, okay. Be going. Oh, man, you know, important stuff to do. Cool, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. Well, I'll see you around, Knox. God, he's so creepy. Not today. Now, what happens if you feed on a ghoul? I wonder. It doesn't feel like it would go well. I don't think. Palm shop. Tattoo parlor. 
Um, I have to remember where to go. So, to the bus stop! <laughs> we'll remember where we have to go. Hup. There we are. Well, I suppose that does make sense, you know. Living life as a vampire is the opposite of intense, and therefore having some vampire blood but still being alive would be a pretty wild high. Where are you? Well, we're going to go to Foxy Boxes at some point. Sigh. So at some point. Um, what am I looking for here? I'm looking for... Trips Pawn Shops? No. Prosthetics? No. Bail bonds! Yes, that's the one. Bail bonds! Ah, okay. I see. <laughs> it's all the way behind us. Or rather, in front of us. Whoops, sorry. To the bail bonds! Charge! Ah, well, how am I feeling about my transformation so far? Not bad. Not bad. Everything seems to be working quite well. I'm full up on blood. No one's uh, caught me yet. It's a smoke shop. Um. That's not where I have to go. It's down further, isn't it? You see there's some uh, ladies of the night on the corner. This is a doomsday prophet. The end is here. Yeah, well, you know, you've been a saying that for years, buddy, and it's still not, so there you go. Aha! Bail bonds! Barry! His name isn't Barry. I'm, I'm sure his name is not Barry, but we're going to find out. Buddy, what's up? What's shaking? Uh, good question. Uh, n Carson will be again after he's had some time to recuperate. What? Ain't coming back? What do you mean he ain't coming back? Uh, he had some traumatic experience. Um, it w there was a man with a severed arm. You know what? It, it's it's very it's very strange. Anyway, his finger got cut man, off by someone. That's it's a it's tough rough. One. Bounty hunter ain't no good without his trigger finger. Well, Unless you're wielding some sort of knife. Me hot water, boy. It's gonna cost old Arthur real good. It sure is. Uh, so, w w what was Carson sort of? What was Carson I got doing? This guy with a sheet a mile long put in on three warrants. His girlfriend put up for the bond, and now he missed the court date. I can't get in touch with either of them. Want a job? Um. Do I want a job? Well, that's an interesting question, sir. Philosophically speaking, I suppose most human beings do want some form of work that they can take pride in. You know, I... Oh, sorry, sorry that was actually a direct question. Sorry, I thought you were speaking philosophically. Generally about the idea of employment. You mean literally right now. Yeah, I might well, be interested, sure. Be much of a job since you ain't licensed. You licensed? Know, Please! Hunter, Do you know how much a medical license costs? What? Because I don't, I have never had one. Good lord. I don't know what a license is a bounty hunter. Oh, you gotta renew it every six months. It's like a library card. Oh, just let me borrow your books. Ugh, all right. Great, great, all right. The guy's name is Mike Durbin. Dur Durbin. Muddy. His Muddy. girlfriend put up for his bond. She lives over there above Tripp's pond. Okay. Show. Her name is Marion Murrieta, but I haven't been able okay, to... Okay, so we're looking for Muddy and Marion Murrieta. <laughs> okay. So, what's the guy's record like? Is he bad or...? Charges years back, but he got okay. Acquitted. Oh, okay, well, that's fine. He's been in and out for this and that. Small time stuff. Small time stuff, that's fine. So he's not too dangerous. And um, you said above That's the pawn right. shop. Mary Ann Murrieta. Okay. Crappy places above the pawn shop. Find out where the hell Muddy is, where is he going, whatever. But be careful. You're not licensed, and if anything bad goes down, I don't know you. You hear me? Yeah, 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 I hear you, I hear you. Um, I could use a few dineros for finding Carson. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, here you are. Thank All you. Right. Come back when you got some info. Thanks in advance. What? How did? How did we do here? Okay. What place you want to know about? Oh, two hundred dollars. Oh, that's not too bad, actually. Not too bad at all. That will buy the doc surgeon a very nice bottle of red. You got any Pinot Noir? Uh, sorry, Gallery Noir. <laughs> oh, you mean that club? We get drunk and disorderly. I want to know more about the club. Sometime. Obviously. Some fights. The owners run it pretty mm. tight, though. The turtle, you should know. I managed to recover my humanity by dancing into club. I was really tearing it up out there. 
So much so, someone came up to me and said, man, you are a rad human. And I said, thanks, dude. You know, I nailed it like that. It was fantastic. So I got a dot uh, of humanity again. That's good. Um, I know who the owners are, but that's right. Oh, a couple of ladies. Interesting. Very interesting. Thank you, Arthur. Goodbye. Well, I suppose we'd best go hunt down this Marianne Murrieta. I'd like to help Mercutio or Mercutio, whatever his name. Hang on, what's his name? What's his name? Mercurio. Oh, of course, like Mercurial. Ugh, whatever. Find out where Muddy Mike Durbin has gone. Marianne Murrieta is above the board. All right, okay, good, good, good. Uh, Pawn Shop was back where we started. Wee. Right. Strange little city we've got here, but, you know, we do our best. Uh, that's the asylum. Through here. Through here! Well, I'm hoping that we- oh, actually, speaking- speaking of how my experience is going- I have five experience! Fantastico. Alright, well, I definitely want to start upping some statistics. Um... I feel like I should have some more charisma. Because I'm I'm using persuasion quite often, or I, I'd like to anyway. Ooh, but appearances for yeah, exactly, Turtle. I'm not I'm not too concerned. Exactly, Turtle. He 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 looked like he was in a bad way, but not in a like desperately bad way. Ooh, I could go up to appearance or charisma. Mm, if I upgrade my charisma, I'll have persuasion four. If I upgrade my appearance, I'll have Seduction 3. Now, I can't tell which of those is better. Um, I mean, of course, Seduction, because of given given what we're trying to do here. You know what? Screw it. I'm going for it. Let's do it. Yeah! Excellent. I feel more attractive already. Trips Pawn Shop! Oh, no, now we have to figure out how to get in up there, I'm sure. Oh, well, that, that also makes sense, doesn't it, Turtle? <laughs> Don't you worry about a thing. Well, I like the idea of upgrading something that sort of increases my overall abilities, but, but now that I remember, we're not really playing in a World of Darkness game. It only affects your feats. So, in fact, I will probably next time just take... Uh, Seduction. Hey, wait a minute. I live over the shitty apartments. What the hell? <gasps> a spare key. Is that my spare key? <gasps> oh my god. Alright, here we go. Saved. Marianne Morietta. Hello? Nobody's here. Alright, okay. Okay, nothing doing. That's fine. It's empty. Hey, Mayor. It's Mike. Look, I gotta head downtown for a few days, maybe longer. If Reno calls, tell him to meet me down there. We got something to discuss, apparently. I'll be at Milton's place in the Skyline Lofts 2A. Sorry, baby. I'll explain everything later. Okay. Well, I suppose we know where he is now. Muddy is downtown. But where is Marianne Murrieta? <gasps> ah, Peepin, a voyeur's field guide. Yikes. Uh, that's uh, melee weapons, uh, ranged weapons, outfits, and stuff. This is what I want. I know. Roger Twice. So exciting. Um, here we are. <laughs> it's a healthy form of emotional expression. <laughs> Ridiculous. All right. Uh, all right, well, Marianne, I d guess you're not at home right now. Very strange. No one really appears to live there. Now, I can't go downtown yet, can I? Hmm. Oh, shoot, the turtle, no. Uh, well, uh, at some point in the past I did. I'll check now, though. <laughs> I, I appreciate, though, that you, you made the distinction between snail mail and email. Very important for me as a doctor. I get all sorts of mail all the time through the mailbox 
through my inbox, uh, out my outbox. Uh, I also get fan mail. All right, let's check. That's empty. Oh, what the heck? Ooh, could I check Murietas? No, no that's fine. Graspy loot. It, sometimes people abandon their apartments, just like they abandoned their previous lives. You know, that's what I've done. All right, let's do it. What else? So we have to, okay. Uh, we need some painkillers. And we need to go to the beach. And we need to go to the beach for the gruesome remains. I mean, that sounds pretty exciting. Okay. All right, the turtle. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, ah, a clinic. Perfect. Well, I wonder what that ghoul is doing. So creepy. He's just hanging around. All right. We need some painkillers, and I'm hoping that I can sort of, you know, sweet talk someone into giving them to me for free. Seems unlike. Wow. People look very unhappy in this town. What's, um, what's up, everyone? Uh, hi. Please, wait your turn and you'll be seen. All right, all right, all right. Jeez, Louise. Uh, <laughs> I will not be seen, nor will I wait. <laughs> um, I suppose I could go for it, actually. With that, we've discussed this. It does not break the masquerade. I'm just bringing my friend who's being treated some personal items. Yeah, that would be good. That's sort of a persuasion attempt. I'm gonna try dominate. All right, go on back. Okay, thank you. Lovely evening. Yes, it sure it. My God, something very wrong. Oh, oh goodness. Uh, uh, please. Get a doctor. Oh God! I, okay, all right. I'm going to. Oh, okay, I'm going. <laughs> I well, I am a oh, doctor. I'm doctor. sorry, sir, but you're going to have to wait outside like everyone else. No exceptions. No, no. Room one. R room See, one. You know, I'm the only physician here at the moment. We got twice as many people as usual waiting for treatment. I'll look at her as soon as possible. Uh, try to talk to her. Keep her away. Okay. I got a man in there with a bullet in his head. My nurse page, Doctor Roberts, a half hour ago. He'll be here any time. Till then, stay with your friend and make sure she doesn't go into shock. I must go. All right, no problem. You know, I've I've been a doctor for a long time. All right, uh, we're going to we're gonna chat. <laughs> Can someone call my grandma, please? Oh boy. Um, d you know what? Don't worry about it. I've got you. Uh... Oh no, 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 no passing out. No passing out. You're gonna be just fine. Wait, actually, why do you have bloody hands? Oh boy, um, this isn't looking so good, uh, madam. Madam, have you? Uh... Oh no, no! I don't like these options. Why would? Why? Why? Look, I'm sure there are some people out there who me <laughs> Kung Fu Fenris. Yes. Look, as a little fledgling vampire, I don't know what it means to have a ghoul. Oh god, it just feels so fine. All right. All right, here you go. Try some of this, I guess. Yikes. Well, maybe Kung Fu Fenris. Oh, you know what? No, no, no. This falls very clearly into do some harm in order to do no harm. Uh, We're doing no harm. Uh, and by doing just a little bit of harm. All right, don't worry about it. So you're fine, right? Madam, what happened to you anyway? I Oh. Humanity gained. <laughs> what? <laughs> you chose to not let this woman die by sentencing her to servitude. Like, wh <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, it's fine. Are you all right, madam? I guess, technically. Who are you? I, I, I could have saved her life by trying to help her, medically speaking as well. What did you do to me? <sighs> that's, a gr that's a great question. Um, I just, I just wanted but to help. did something. Uh, oh, boy. kissed your wrist. Oh, boy. Um, I this is going to get really bad really fast. Just, uh, hang in there, everyone. We're all learning together. Okay. Come on, Doc. You got this. I fed you my blood. I'm a vampire. Doctor! Security! Okay. All right, we're going. Don't, don't worry. Whoa! Whoa! They've got guns. All right, we're still looking for painkillers, everyone. Don't. Okay, here we go. Oh, don't lock picking. Oh no. Ooh, written. That sounds delicious. 
Um, I think we're in trouble. I don't want to beat up the security guard. Oh, perfect! Pills! Excellent. Now, how am I going to get out of here? Easy does it, Doc. Easy does it. Oh, sh That's the security guard! He's right there. Ah, oh, son of a gun. Mmm. Written, I would suggest not putting sweet chili and garlic mayo on a wedding cake. It's just a suggestion. I think I can probably get in now. It's a good point. I hope so, anyway. Go, 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 go. Oh, wow. Oh, morphine. Very good. Oh, D Dr. Malcolm St. Doctor. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be, I'll be right there. I'm just gonna check. Uh, no, I, uh, oh. uh patience? No, all right, that's fine. Um, just gonna look for your password here, Doc. If it were me, my password would be Doc. That's all right. Hup. What kind of blood nerd are you, written? Here, here, here. Let's have a quick look. Uh, this is the Doctor Surgeon MD. I was embraced in Clan Tremere. I've got a, a sweet shirt, a sweet belt, little eyebrow piercing. Uh, but I'm an old timer. What else can I tell you? I just took appearance too. <laughs> oh, and I could take. Um. Oh, goodness. I think we're gonna take some dodge here. Maybe just melee. I also really want more pharmaturgy, but that's gonna take a lot of experience. So we're just gonna up the, up the old melee. There we go. Because I have the strangest feeling the security guard is still looking for me. Oh boy. Now, how do I... Um, does Auspex cost blood? I can't remember. Button. Auspex. Enhances your mental faculties and allows you to perceive the auras of those around you, as well as see better in darkness. One blood per act activation. All right. That does make sense, Turtle, doesn't it? Oh, he's right outside. You know what? We've got what we've come for. If he's still right there, we're just going to run. I'm sure he didn't really get a good look at my face. Computers for grandma! Perfect. Okay, so he's right there. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We'll be able to get around at some point. Um administration offices. Yeah, yeah, I figured I don't really have any passwords or anything. Um oh actually. Computers two, right? To begin, put the foot pedal on the desk and push the power button on the metal box. This is the house for your friend computer, Chip. <laughs> That's very funny. So now my hacking is at two. Great. Oh, yikes. I suppose I could, Turtle. It feels bad. Toreador in... No, 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 written. No, 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 written. No, no. I do love a good Toreador and a good Ventru, don't worry. But I was embraced into Clan Tremere, because of course, as a doctor and a surgeon, I'm interested in knowing more about how this blood magic works. I want to know things. Oh, fudge! Oh, gosh! Still alive! Uh, 
Um. Oh god. Uh. Hi, again. Um, Who are you? Oh, she doesn't remember. Can I help you with something? Uh, nope, Did just passing through. Some Damn it, Heather. No. Oh, dear. I feel very bad about this, Heather. Sorry. Why was the feed attempt failed? Uh, am I too far? It's because she's, she's not standing. Oh, whoops. Who are you? No, no, I'm just I passing just through. Need some rest. I can't feed on her, can no. I? Oh, hello! Run, dog! Damn it, run, dog! Hey. Oh, God! <laughs> All right, I understand, Written, I understand. Wow, I really messed up bad. Well, at least my dancing gave me some answers, and I have pills! Jeez Louise, what a disaster. I mean, honestly, that could have gone a lot better. Yikes. <sighs> I heard that. Who's laughing? All right, uh, Mercurio. Buddy! Still all blooded up, huh? I got something for you. Mercurio? Oh, you're alive. I brought in some morphine. Oh, oh holy Christ, I needed that. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. I'll be back when I've done your job for you. <sighs> Goodbye. Yes, humanity gained. What's up? Ah, good, good, good. Bringing morphine to this criminal, of course, outweighs the horror of beating a man to death with a baseball bat. That's the world of darkness for you. No, not yet, Ritten. Not yet. Perhaps, perhaps in a while. You, you weren't here before, Ritten. I did find a man urinating against a wall, and in my vigor to try to tell him that that public urination was illegal, my teeth ended up in his neck, and it was... I mean, it was wonderful, but it was you know, kind of horrible all at the same time. Let's go down to the beach. <laughs> There's so many places to explore. What is this? The Galerie Noir. Oh, I really... Oh, it's locked. But I want to meet the person that runs it. I bet it's a Tremere. Uh, sorry, a, um... You know, Toreador. <gasps> a parking garage. All right, all right, not now, not now. Come on, Doc. Oof, you're gonna need some damn blood otherwise. Oh. Just hanging out by the fire, eh, bud? <laughs> Hello. Hey, baby. Looking for a date? Um, not right now. Perhaps in a while. Do 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 through the parking garage. People park their cars down here. This is where I like to go to get to Santa Monica Pier. Ah, oh, the tunnels. Oh, I feel much more at home down here. There we go. All right. Um, there we go. I can hear the gulls already. Oh, hello, person who's waiting for me. Up oh. There, through that chain link gate and up those stairs. Uh, what? What? <laughs> those men you are looking for. How? How did you know? Never mind. You wouldn't understand. I would like to understand. Up there, through the chain link fence. Thank you. Thank you very much, madam. Do we do we think that this is this is bad, right? It's very bad that she told me that. All yeah, right. Now this is gonna go poorly. All right. All right. Well, we're gonna speak softly and carry a big stick. Okay. We're actually gonna speak very loudly. Ah, you're free to use full force. You have unfair diff 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 disciplines. Uh. Okay. All right, well, let's just go and uh, have a little chat. Maybe he'll let us in, huh? Hi, buddy, oh, how yeah. are you? Yeah, um, do I look dangerous to you? I'm sure a big man like you isn't scared you of me. Just go in. Ugh. Oh, all right, see you in a bit. 
Mercurio. A guy with a name like that deserves to. Just gonna check around the outside of your house, don't worry. Just having a little look. See here, water tank on the outside for Whoa, doggo! Strange seat back here. Alright. Alright, well this should be very interesting. Watching people play some sort of Mortal Kombat game. People are having sex somewhere, that's fine. Good, good, very healthy. Who else is here, shall we? Oh, howdy there, gents. Do do. Just heading th <laughs> It's a 500 pound barbell! <laughs> It's so large! Okay, alright, alright. Not now, Doc, not now. Aha! Yes, perfect. Let me into the vents. Aha! There's your money. Uh. Okay. Oh, gentlemen? look real good at me. Before we do business, before anything changes hands, I want you to hear this. If you try to cross me, I will fuck you. If you tell the cops about me, I will find you. Then I will fuck you. Okay. If you are a cop. I am no, I definitely not a cop. Your whole family. Oh, Including wow. That squirrel in your front yard. That's not my family. That squirrel is a good friend. What can I do to make you walk out feeling like you just flew first class with a cheerleader in your lap? Gross. I'm uh, looking for Astro Light. You got Ain't any of that? that? A goddamn coincidence. You know you're the second person to ask for that tonight. Oh. Considering that's not a very popular item, I have really got to wonder why you thought I might have some. You've got a bit of everything, man. <laughs> now, here's an excellent question, interns. Well, let's talk about the ethics of this. We could here. We can't try to seduce this man. What are you gonna do? But we can try to persuade him, you know, I suppose I could try to find another seller. Oh, you wouldn't want to lose a sale. Or we can simply dominate. Now, I'm kind of low on blood as it is, and I have a feeling we're going to have to f fight. And there's a man just next to him. But we're going to try it, all right? Here we go. Explosives. Fun stuff. You can get yourself a lot of attention that way. Yeah. I may have something. Ooh. Why would you need to get your hands on some fireworks? Um, for fun. Yeah. There you go. Uh, money problems, yeah? I have to make a car disappear. Sure, okay. I got some stuff that'll do the trick. Astrolite. It's like TNT's big Amina cousin with a prison record. <laughs> I don't like keeping the stuff around. Too dangerous. So I'll let you have it for a little less than the going rate. Oh, that sounds pretty good. How about free? Oh, now this is interesting. Mercurio already paid for it. Hmm. Yeah, I would be curious about that written. Because here's the thing, right? As we as we know, Activision's been having a lot of trouble lately in terms of uh, its, its structure and its hierarchy and the sort of culture. That's the word I was looking for, the culture. Um... And hopefully, through purchase, there will be some oversight that will help uh, undo that culture. Now, this is an interesting conundrum for me, my friend, because I don't want to pay you. I want you to just tell me where it is, and I'm going to take it and walk away. If I say Mercurio paid for it, this guy is going to beat my sh beat my face in. But I sp well, perhaps he's still dominated. Mercurio, yeah, we know him. We know Mercurio, don't we? How is our friend Mercurio? Uh, uh, um, yeah. Oh boy. All right. Oh God, I don't. Here's the. Pr I want to beat up this whole house full of criminals. Tr like I really, really do. <laughs> Microsoft owns Zork. What a time to be alive. I get. <sighs> If I if I just if I just go for the fight, this guy is going to kick the crap out of me. 
I don't know. I have some. I have. I have powers and stuff, right? We'll do, we'll try talking. I came for the astrolite. I'll tell you what. If you can get out of here without a bullet through your face, I'll let you keep it. I accept. Uh, wrong button. There we go. Yep. No problem. Whoa! Explosions. Oh, whoa! Oh, wrong button. Wrong button. That's a horrible. Absolutely horrible. Whap! Woohoo! Oh, excuse me! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa! Oh! I'm frenzying! Wait, why can't I do anything when I'm frenzying? Alright, okay. That's what I wanted to do. Ah! Ah! Come here! Hey! Come back! Ugh. Ugh. Good, good. Any other punks want to try a bit of this? Or, um... We're all doing pretty well. Ooh, what's this? Anything exciting? Awful lot of dead people here. A knife. Knife to meet you. Some bats. Get some more bullets. And there's the astrolite. Perfect. I say that went about as well as I could have uh, could have planned. I used up a lot of blood. Less ideal. All right. I did. I did. I did. Kung Fu Fenris. There was some cash behind this uh, grate here. Oh, jeez. Just put the, the old bat away. Put the old batarang away here. Uh, well, this is the thing, Graspy Loot. I uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But I think I got it because there was money hidden in that vent. If you think there might be... Oh, actually. Just seeing if there's anything here. It says you retrieved the astrolite. Yeah, I think I must have. $250. It was stashed away. I'm just going to check around again. Okay, okay, okay. Good, good, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, that was a lot of fun. Ah. Cool. Oh, great. All right. Um, you know, could have gone a lot worse. Ah, yeah, this is... I was wondering about that, the turtle. It wasn't giving me the option to sort of turn. It just kind of leapt me for... Well, I, I wasn't quite sure how the, the how it worked during Frenzy, you see. It just kind of... Start, it just kind of happened. <laughs> You understand what I mean? It just kind of jumped me around a bit. Oh, don't you worry, Kung Fu Fenris. I love talking to people. Ah, yeah, that would make sense. Whoa! Oof. Um, uh, uh, do you know who the head vampire is? Oh! Bros! You're vampires too! <laughs> who doesn't? If the head vampire dies, we all become human again, right? I like this. Okay, but first I had another question. Uh-huh. How about blood transfusions? If I get a full blood transfusion... Oh I can my god, this again. guy. The gooch! Um, yeah, you well, you can buy the steak from me, and if you can find yourself unicorn blood, you don't even need six or eight pints. You just need sort of a... Um, half a liter should do it. Unicorn blood? Yeah, I know. Okay, I'm not. I'm silly. I'll buy it. I'll buy it. I'm gonna go get some money. Um, uh, come back in a little while. Cool, cool, cool. Oh dear, I feel kind of bad. Chad here is very. Oh, oh dear, one of these Chads. He's so silly. What about everyone else? I mean, no. Oh. No, you are going to China. It, I'm sorry. Why is he smiling? The father. Is it the father behind him? Is she Malkavian? You seem Malkavian, madam. What's up with you, bud? Uh, evening. Uh, are you okay? It's n n nothing. Oh, yeah, all right. Do, do I make you a little frightened? N n no, I, I have a sp speech problem. 
problem. So, so, so. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I didn't mean. I didn't mean anything by it, sir. Hey, Broheim, looking good. A flock of target types bad a thousand times now. We know we can't hunt round here, all right? We're minding our own business. No reason to hassle the weaklings. No, I'm not hassling anyone. I'm just. <laughs> this is my beach. Get the hell out. I don't want your beach. Oh, I want your shitty tiny beach. Look at this. It's practically mud. It's barely sand. Oh my god. Uh, what? You mean you ain't here to run us off? Of course not. Well, is that common? I'm pretty sick of it. Someone citing domain, or in the worst case, is hunting us for sport. Mm. That's not good. Don't know. We all seem to have come down with the same disease. Oh, hell, who am I kidding? We're a bad horror show, all right? And we seem to be the runts, the mistakes. You types call us thin bloods. I say we're all equally screwed. I don't understand. What's. What does it mean to be thin blooded? Damned if I know. Well, I know you don't want to. <laughs> they also be have thin blood You seem to be in the loop. <laughs> you tell me. Well, okay. Well, what? What? Uh, what clan are you? See, I've heard all that before, and, and I still don't know what the hell anyone's talking about. Oh dear. I'd like to know just what I've become. Oh dear. We'd all Isn't like it? So, so they they just must just have been embraced, the the hell kind of but not fully embraced. Is that possible? I just come to town for the surf tourney. Seems like oh, he just wanted to go surfing. About six months now. Every night during the finals, I used to hit the local diner after the beach parties fizzled out in the AN. That's where I met her. Uh, okay. Please. She had a natural beauty. Not like all the plastic dolls littering oh, the sand. Oh. Her name was Lily. Oh, man. I remember introducing myself. The way she seemed grateful for the company. Well, a few nights after our meeting, we were on the beach alone. And oh, yeah. Oh yeah! Oh, we know all she about what happened there. What yeah, she yeah. Was, but I didn't understand, and so she showed me. Oh. I was furious with her when I took it all in. I cursed her and left, never really knowing what I was. Well, I realise now how she must have felt. So here I am now, a mystery to myself. Do you want me to find Lily, or clinically, yes? But honestly, <laughs> I don't clinically. Know. <laughs> I suppose that would be dumb by now. I didn't think she'd show up. <laughs> this is a good, a doctor joke. I like it, I like it, I like it. Um, so you know that you're vampires, That's what right? tried to tell me. But what I don't understand are the rules and the terms and the reasons some of them are at our throats claiming <sighs> we're harbingers of the apocalypse. That's what I want to know. Do you have a computer? Do you have a book? Good Lord, where's Smiling Jack? Maybe he can tell you all about it. Maybe I should look well, into I this. you have better luck than I did. No one's been particularly friendly to me in this city. The only reason we're in Santa Monica is because we haven't been chased out yet. I, I'm, I'm curious as to why... Because, as we all know, my sire was publicly executed because they did not ask... Uh, she did not ask for um, the right to create me. It is what it is. Yeah, it's really interesting. Really, really, really interesting. I saw something over here as well. What's this? Oh, I'm gonna sell that to him so bad. Oh, yeah. Get me some money, punk. I go oh! That was a wolf! That was a wolf! That was a wolf! That was a wolf! I saw it. I saw a wolf, everyone! Don't, don't, don't pretend like you're not there! I saw you in the mountains! Oh, it's a generations thing! Oh, I understand. Yes, yes, yes. If you... Yeah, 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 yeah. Every uh, generation of vampire, so to speak, the, the, the powers and blood dilute a little more. Yes, yes, yes. In the game, in the, in the tabletop role-playing game, you can kind of choose to take a higher uh, generation, um, but it, it's a merit or, or whatever, however you would describe it. Look at this pier, what a wonderful place. Oh, charming, charming, charming. Uh, what is this? Psychic! Out of my- Oh, I want to go to the psychic. Uh, the arcade, uh, sweet. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, gosh. Um, that's really bad. It's still there, huh? Even though they reported it on the news. Well, I'd like to get in. I can't, though. Interesting, interesting. Can we, uh, gentlemen? 
Excuse me, gentlemen. <sighs> gentlemen. Okay, all right. I can, can go back later. Oh, there's a person there. Hello. Oh, it's a police officer. Oh, sorry. I, d I didn't realize. Interesting. Okay. So we can't get in. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Anarch domain. Oh! I see, I see, I see. Interesting. Well, I, well, this is the thing written. I, I have heard of Diablere, and as a Tremere, I, of course, am interested to know more about it, but uh, I don't think that's something I'm going to be trying. Uh, I do need to feed. You know what, actually, I have some blood bags. I'll just use one of those. Here we go. Use that. <sighs> Delicious. Oh, that's not very much. Qua? Oh, sorry. Ka? All right, well, uh, that was a good time. Bud, do you have your money yet? Buddy. Shh. Mayhem, bro. Mayhem, bro. <laughs> good one, bro. Get me the hell out of there. All right, well, we got the astrolite from Mercurio. Um, yeah. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. Uh, I'm not sure what a lot of the words in that sentence mean, the turtle, but yes, I am more interested. Exactly, I'm, I'm interested. I'm allowed to be interested, am I not? Am I not allowed to be interested in things? We're not allowed to have passions and hobbies? Look, look, your hobbies involve Needlepoint. My hobbies involve diablerizing old vampires. I don't see what the difference is. Uh, all right. We have to go check out Foxy Boxes. Oh, it's locked. Right, because it's not daytime. That's interesting. I can only go out at night. What am I supposed to do about that, I wonder? Hmm. Very interesting. Um, what am I doing? We're going back to Mercurio. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> oh, my. You'll find it hard to stop. Oh, and I can go in the sewers! You know what? Let's let's have a little check around, shall we? Because I was down in the sewers before, but... Oh, cool. Whoa! Hello? Sploosh. I am a creature of the night. <gasps> oh, I can get into places from here! Of course! Of course! Of course! Oh, no, wait. Can I? Um, no, these all come up in town. Darn. Hmm. Alright, well, that's too bad. I'll just have a quick little look around, see if there's anyone here. Just, uh, just have a little look, see? Ooh. Feed on that rat, thank you very much! Yum, yum. Thanks, bud. Appreciate it. Oh, I'm sorry, Graspy Loot. I, uh, I'm, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. I don't, uh, I, I, I don't want you to ever feel like this stream is a place where you have to be sad. You understand what I'm saying? You are here. Good. Um comes up in the parking garage. That's near Gimbal's. Oh, it's the good kind of sad. Oh, I know all about that. All right, well, uh, now we should explore, shan't we? We, sh we should, we should, we should. Just in case there's anyone down here or anything down here that I should know about. Uh, we'll just have a little looky-loo, as uh, my mother used to say. Oh, I just saw a rat. Ratty! Where are you? Damn it, I saw a rat just before. How much does this need? I really want to use a blood point on it. Wh Ten! Damn. Ten! 
Wow. Okay, well, I'm not getting in there anytime soon. I don't like that. Can I use the astrolite to blow up that gate? Hmm. Oh, wow. I didn't know. That's really fun, Graspy Loot. I didn't know that. Secrets, secrets everywhere. I like it. Um, just looking for any more ratties. Delicious, delicious ratties. Oh, hell, hello. There you go. Thank you. Just gonna have a little nom nom nom. Good enough. And here I am in the parking garage. Okay. Now here's inter something interesting. If I ask this woman to go with me, I could probably feed on her. But is that a good idea? Um. Hey, baby, looking for a date? Ugh. I guess I'll. I guess I'll mm, find it. For a hot one like yourself, my price is forty to shake the earth. Whoa. Um, yeah, sure. Oh, God. Sorry in advance, everyone. I'm turning... I promise you won't regret it. Okay. Mm. Let's go somewhere more intimate. You lead the way. All right. Okay. I have an apartment. Uh, I just need to remember where it is. Now, don't, don't take that the wrong way, madam. It's more so that I'm just not 100% sure where I live. No, hang on. It's not, it's not like that either. It's a... Oh, good, good, good. Okay. Thanks, the turtle. I actually appreciate knowing that. Come along, madam. Okay, I honey. Let's see what you got. This is... What? Not not yet. Just follow me a bit okay, more. Okay, honey. Oh. Let's see what you got. Okay. Oh, goodness. Bye-bye. Yeah, she sure looks euphoric. Yikes. Um. <laughs> All right, well, have a good night. I see, and so now there's a mechanic where if you ever need to... Uh, <laughs> oh, written! <laughs> -na 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 -na. <laughs> written as wrote! Oh, I didn't realize my chat wasn't showing up on this screen. Well, that's very silly, isn't it? Oh, dear. There we go. Uh, I'll just move, oh jeez, I'll just move this over slightly, where are you? Just moving my chat over slightly, I didn't realize it wasn't on here at all. I'm gonna have to export this later. Alright, keep, uh, keep chattering away everyone, I want to fill up this chat bar. Weapons not allowed. Mercurio, look buddy, I got the, th I got the boom booms. You alright? No. Uh, oh. Yeah? Did you waste those sons of bitches? Um, yeah. Good. Great. Painful. Did you get my money back? Um, this is tough. This is this is this is tough because of I don't really know you, you know. I'll probably get humanity if I give him his money back. But if I don't, I get to keep the money. No, I'm gonna get money from that kid. Uh, yeah, I need an ally. I need an ally. I might have to buy some new kidneys with this. So what's the deal with this astrolite? That astrolite, twice as powerful as TNT. Yeah. Instant demolition. Be on the other side of the world when you engage that timer. You need to make some place disappear. A warehouse. It looks to be a sabat interest. Okay. Well, like, what's a sabat? Blah. I don't remember who those people were that were attacking me not not an hour ago. I heard a lot about that operation. Well, I'd love to get in there, get my hands on the equipment they've been unloading. Yikes! But it'd be suicide to walk in there. Okay, so it seems it seems bad then. Packing. I don't know, maybe. Uh, wait, wait, maybe, 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 maybe what? But guy. I never met him, but I heard a lot about him. His name is Tong, Bertram Tong. Okay. He's one of you types. If there's anyone who knows more than me about this city, it's him. Unfortunately, Tongue's hiding out at the moment. Okay, so who cares? Tongue's laying low because of Therese. Therese Vorman, you know her? What? Anyway, 
Word is to reason tongue of feuding. Why do I need all this? Oh my god. Oh, it's all this underground. Oh, that's true, actually. Good point, Turtle. Probably makes sense, too, right? Well, why wouldn't you tell your fledglings about the, the greatest threat? Obviously, the greatest threat is breaking the masquerade. That's bad news. You should tell them about the threat to them. The Sabbat would come after them, wouldn't they? I mean, I would. Anyway. Uh, okay. She and sister Jeanette. Ah, she runs the asylum. Try not to do business there. Okay, what can you tell me about her, though? She's the woman around here. Power player. Nice looking broad for a dead chick, but uh, personality like stone. Okay. So. Who exactly? But Bertram Tongue. I don't know him myself. Okay. I'd like to meet the guy. Man of a local legend. He and Therese seem to be contenders for this city. So. He's crafty. We need to blow up a warehouse of Sabat. But we don't know where it is, basically. So we need to ask Bertram Tongue. But Bertram Tongue is in hiding because he's feuding with Jeanette Vorman. So we need to go and talk to Jeanette. Ridiculous. All right. I'm a doctor, not a politician. What is this? Uh... Specifically? Yeah, tell me about... Oh. No, no, never mind, never mind. It's fine. Um, all right. All right, let's go meet Jeanette, I suppose. I roll. <laughs> Heal the issues, Doc. Heal them. Yeah, you know what, Kung Fu Fenris? I can do that. Oh, well, that's a good question, the turtle. Wait, 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 wait. Are you calling the Camarilla a cult? I mean, yes, I suppose. Like, of course. Y yes, but, like... What's the alternative? I guess maybe I just don't know this about. Are they the monsters that they claim to be? Yes. All right. Uh, to the club! Oonce, 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 oonce. Hello. Wow. Now that's a frightening phone call if I've ever seen one. Just picked it up, listened for a moment, and left. All right, I need to speak to your sister. Oh, there's a diner on the corner here. Been there before. Ah, see, the Sabbat is a medieval death cult. It said so right there. All right. Um, okay. So, got to find... Oh, excuse me, madam, sorry. Yeah, 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 that's fine. Don't worry about it. I don't want to talk to you anyway. Oh! Uh... Hey! Oh, hey, Nox, what's going on? Not much. Just waiting around for my master. Whoa! Ooh, how's your mission oh, going? Man, not good. Oh shoot! That's why I'm waiting to talk to him. Oh, okay. Well, why don't you tell? Okay, okay. I guess I can tell you about it. Okay. Oh, man, his name's Bertram Tung. He's a Nosferatu. Ooh, Bertram Tung is a Nosferatu, huh? That's so funny. I'm looking oh, for man. him. I wish I knew where he was. I'm getting antsy waiting around for him. I need to tell him some stuff. You know, I don't know where he is or stays or anything. Oh man, I. Okay, so what's uh, what's going on with your mission then, bud? Bertram had me keeping an eye on this guy. This Asian dude has been poking around Santa Monica. Bertram thought he might be a vampire or something like a vampire. I don't know. Okay. Oh man, this guy, this thing, got wise to me. Now instead of me watching him, he's watching me. You know? I see this guy appear around me all the time, like. He, yeah, he, he can warp up to you? He can warp? He can teleport? That, what's wrong? No, it just... Just tell me the truth, huh? You have to speak up, we're in the club. I'm not me. I am. Okay, okay, okay. Damn it, Nox. Damn. Man, all right, look. I messed up, okay? I'm just doing what I was told, though. Okay. Bertram knew you were coming. Knew you'd come by here. He planted me and told me what to say about the Asian thing, but it's true. I swear. Oh, he damn. It's true, too. This Asian guy needs to be taken out. What? He can't do it. 
Bertram needs you to. Bertram needs me to take out this guy that I don't even know. Well, you could have just asked me. Nosferatu, sure, doesn't deal with it directly. That makes sense. Uh, okay. What is it, I wonder? Because here's the thing. When we were on the pier, I saw a werewolf. Werewolf there, there, wolf. Ah, uh, sure. What? The only clue I got is this driver's license that he dropped once while I was tailing him. Okay. So he he just dropped his driver's license, eh? All right. Um. No, the picture on the license isn't him. I don't know why he had it. Ah, it's, it's probably a, one of his uh, victims, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, okay. Looks like the doctor surgeon is is starting his new uh, career as a police officer. <laughs> Private investigator, yeah, that's fine. God, you're so creepy, Knox. Good lord. Alright, okay, so that's something we can do. And I do need to speak to uh, the barkeep. Uh, barkeep, barkeep. I have a question. Yeah, something else I need. Um, I'm looking for a uh, trees. Um, no, actually, Kung Fu Fenris, he has not. I figured it was probably more of his blood, right? He probably wants more vampire blood to keep the high going. That's my guess, but let me know if I'm wrong. Haha. <laughs> Spot on, fuck. Excuse me, Kung Fu Fenris. Oh, don't worry, bud. They're not actually replacing you. Well, this should be interesting, shouldn't it? I suppose I actually... Oh, no, wait. Um... Good. Two! Uh, it's a good bet to place, Celtic. I've already met the sister, because she's here right when you come in. So, I'm gonna say Therese. Uh, that's, that's my guess. I don't know. What's this? A gold Your ring? Key? Last time I looked, it was called Santa Monica. Not stuck up bitch. Oh, oh God. I can't even look at it. one in the mirror. Jezebel. Oh, Therese. Yeah, I know, Written. Here, let's see if I can do anything about that. Nope. <laughs> It's just volume. <laughs> oh, but look, I'm on the unofficial patch. Good, good, good. Uh, brr, really wish I could do something about that for you. Sorry, written. Oh, maybe you just meant. And a flattering portrait of me with your kind of defensive hmm. guard. Okay, I can't just walk in. Down. Interesting. Why don't you? The sight of that wicked painted house, concealing that dirty, diseased mind, sin. You have no shame. <laughs> Maybe I can just wait. Without sin, cast the fierce tone. Go ahead and mock me. You pull your pranks, make fun of my ways. It suits you. You're just one big joke. Don't you call me that? Should I start calling a duck a pig as well? I'm your sister. How can you treat me like this? That's it, Jeanette. Run away from the truth. I'll take care of everything as always. Okay, you'll take care of everything as always. I oh. Hello. Where? Where did she go? Oh, she must have walked out. Ah, uh, hello. Please you must be Jeanette. In. I do apologize for my sister's crassness if it made you uncomfortable. She's unabashedly scandalous, but in the club business, I suppose that kind of personality is a necessary evil. Yeah. Will do, Kung Fu Fenris. Uh, sorry, um... Th that you must be Therese Borman. Yes. Therese, yes. I'm the proprietor of this club, and the only I like it. The Venture owns the club, and the Malkavian or whatever is just freaking out. What you brings know? you to Santa Monica? A uh, good question. Call off the feud. Uh, I need you to Tom's call off the feud. Tom's self-imposed. I assure you. 
But then, what reason would I have not to hate that loathsome Nosferatu scoundrel? Bloody Nosferatu. They're so... unclean. Uh... So, wh what's, what's the problem? He meddles in my affairs. He's a bad influence on my sister, and she on him. Maybe they could just if be happy together, Therese. Would you, you think let that? him compromise your authority? You most certainly would not. I'd quite like it if I never had to hear that name again. All right. Um, oh. Oh, a baron. That does make sense, doesn't it? Kung Fu Fenris, yeah. I, oh, I don't want to, oh, I don't want to have to take on a Nosferatu. I'm just a little, I'm just a little, I'm just a little silhouette of a man. You know what I mean? It, it's, uh, Scaramouche, Scaramouche, why do I have to kill the Nosferatu? It's, it's, it's going to be a real problem if you need me to do this. Uh, okay. I don't like these options. Your options are offer to kill a Nosferatu. Bad move. So I'm taking the other option. The other option, can you put out the word that you've got no feud with him so he comes out of hiding so I can speak to him and then you'll kill him? Obviously, that's what I, I gotta do, do, but I don't like it. Let him think I mean to kill him. That way I don't have to worry about him sabotaging everything. Do you realize how his subterfuge makes me look to the Camarilla? No, I do need to see him, though, Tang is the problem. and his co-conspirator's actions ruined my chance at partnership in a crucial piece of property. Oh, dear. I do have oh. several other promising ventures, and one in particular has been, to say the least, an ordeal. Hmm. I'd be willing to put the word out that my grievances with Tongue have been swept under the rug, but in return, okay. you'll have to help me remove a particularly burdensome spirit from a property I'm looking to invest in. Okay... Do you mean like um a ghost or Oh, I forgot. You're still new to this. Allow me to break you in. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, of course, Kung Fu Fenris. I just want to know what mummies, she's talking about. And I'd expect a she might just mean some liquor. I can clean that up. Lick it a split. Good, good, good. Uh okay, so um I'll Rumor do it. There is that a personal item of a ghost may be used to draw it out or mm. excise it from its haunt. While I don't put a lot of stock in hearsay, it's my last option. So I want you to go to the Ocean House Hotel, okay. find an item of the spirits, Great. and bring it back. No problem. You don't want me to do it, right? You don't want me to go and excise it. Anyway, well, oh, just promise I to call off the few. intend to do so. You'll find that dealing with me on the whole is appreciably more predictable than dealing with some of the egomaniacs that are my peers. Yeah. So long as our business doesn't go sour, my word is gold. Okay, I like you. You're on the level, Therese. We can, we can, <laughs> wow. Um, I can respect that and appreciate Before it. Before I forget, take this. The only way to reach the ocean house this time of night is through a tunnel in the sewers. Mm. We need that key to open the gate for that. It's the tunnel. gate. Perfect. If you'll excuse me, I've got situations to set straight. Perfect. So, all right, perfect. Uh, I'm supposed to look at the poster on the... Whoa, my... <laughs> Kung Fu Menrys. What the hell is this? Disgusting name. Oh, my God. I mean, obviously, that's them. And their father or sire or whatever. Oh my god. Disaster city. It's them and their daddy. Hello, sweetheart. Um. Uh, presumably I can't hack. I'll try. Still, okay, it's uh, difficulty four. Alright, well, that's, uh, that's that, I suppose. Until I can find a password. It's fine. Now, if I use her computer, I'm sure she'll be furious. Where does that door go, I wonder? All right, well, Tartarese, it's very good to get to know you. Ta-ta! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Written, I have to say, like, my social media manager, Scott, when, whenever, you know, in terms of vampire clans and so on, Hey! Thank you for the follow, Matthias! I would assume it would be, uh, um, what's her name? Woo! Yeah! Dance it up, everyone! Dance it up! Alright, thank you very much. 
Uh, I figured it would be um, the other one's bedroom. I don't remember her name now. Too bad. A what? Yes, Matthias, you're an intern now. Welcome to the Dr. Surgeon MD's medical lecture series on surgical technique and medical ethics. Benvenuto, as they say in some parts of Europe. Uh, to the sewers! Charge! Uh, so I've been embraced by Clan Tremere. I don't really know what's going on, but we're just doing our best to help everyone best we can. Yep, there we go. I think you're all caught up. <laughs> To the sewers, to the sewers. Doctor, Surgeon, MD. Uh, sewer, perfect. So. Where's a manhole when you need one, am I right? Yeah, exactly, Kung Fu Fenris. Wow. You sure put the man in manhole. <laughs> That's disgusting. Um, we are looking for Ocean View Hotel. There, there, there we are. Okay. So, to the left and then down the end. Perfect. Whee! Alright, hang on. I have to indulge a fantasy of mine, Randy. Whee! Oof! Yes, Matthias, it's very important to know. My name is a Dr. Surgeon MD. Here on the channel, we have to try to do some harm in order to do no harm. I'll come back for you a little later, Mr. Ratty. I'm very excited. We're going to go find something, a personal effect of a ghost to excise a spirit. How exciting is that? I love excising a good spirit. All right. Okay, nice and creepy. Creepy, creepy. Good, good. Um, I thought this was a hotel. Clearly not. Oh, is it not open yet? Yeah, if someone wants to drop a link to the Kickstarter... Oh, shoddy electrical work, gentlemen and ladies and people of all types and stripes. Shoddy electrical work! Ugh. I'm not going to have enough lockpicking to get in. Oh, I don't want to use the blood to get in! Is there another way in? We're going to look around to see if there's another way in. It's been 18 years. It's been 84 years. Right, okay. Oh, yes, aha! Oh, perfecto. Kung Fu Fenris. Well done. Um, little elevator uh, floor device here. Good. We'll take these keys. Did everyone hear that? What the hell was that? I do not. Oh my god. What the hell was that? Go ahead and save. Um, what was that sound? This is a Hellcat. Oh! It did! Yeah, 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 written, you're right, you're right, you're right. Okay, so there's a, there's a spirit here, that's fine. I wonder if I can corporealize the spirit. Hang on, let's actually have a quick look. What can I do here? Um, Thaumaturgy. I have, almost have enough experience to get three blood shield. Okay, pretty good. Uh, tch -tch -tch -tch. Ooh, what's gonna help here? Hag haggle with the ghost? Seduce the ghost? Oh, boy. Um, okay. Combat defense, ranged combat. Oh, yeah, what about my strength, huh? Get some more melee combat. We'll, we'll hold off on spending anything for now. There's clearly something at play here in the Ocean View Hotel. 
Oh, yeah, no, no, no worries, Turtle. I believe you should be able to drop anything in this chat. No problem. Uh, I mean, you know, let me, let me know if it's going to be something horrible, but, uh... Oh, it's an abandoned creepy hotel! Oh, I assumed it was a real one. All right, chill out. Look, I've operated on bigger, scarier spirits than you. Go, oh, God. Ugh, oh, whatever. Ah! Oh. What the hell? Okay, something did just hit me there. Ah! Oh. Family missing. The fire department searches the ocean house for remains. He wants to kill you. Okay. Spooky. Very spooky. Interesting. Saved. This little chicken. Oh, I totally saw someone. I saw someone. Oh, 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 spooky stuff. Okay, I have to get in there, but I don't know how. Oh, there's spooky stuff happening, and I love it! Alright, 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 alright. Can't get in there yet. Ooh! Wow. Oh, come on! Ow! Look, it, look I can help you! Mr. Ghost! Oh, fuck! Oh, oh, my legs! Oh, actually, this is very bad, isn't it? Yeah, I'm in big trouble down here, I think. Oh, boy. Alright, um... All right, hold on to your butts, everyone. We fell down into the basement. This is gonna go very poorly. Do you hate it because it's dark and scary? That's the reason I am currently hating it, Turtle. Now, I'm just observing on my second monitor because as I reported last week, uh, it's actually a lot darker than you might think. Oh, God. Power status. Everything's off. Um, this isn't great, is it? Can't turn the power back on. Can't use the elevators. Hmm. Oh, I didn't even see that. Whoa! Spooky. So spooky, madam. Madam? Ma Madam? Madam? Oh, sweet Jesus, this is very, very spooky. Oh! Oh my god. Oh, run, run, run! Run, Doc! Damn it. Got a pipe on the head or something. Oh! Well, hello. All right, madam. I don't know how you got through this. I don't know how much I really know about this sort of thing, but uh, we can have a little looky-see here. Hotel hell. Child severed head found in <laughs> hotel laundry room. <laughs> well, if that's not a front page story. I don't know what is. <laughs> oh. Oh, when did this game get so spooky? Oh, I know where we are now. Aha. Uh -huh. Thanks very much, madam. You've led me right to the solution. I'm spooked. I'm spooked. I'm looking. Nothing. Okay, go. Come on, doc. Oh, God. I feel like I just got pushed. Oh, no. No, we have to find the severed head. Oh. Ah. Uh. It was in one of these. Oh! The boiler room key. Yikes. Yeah, that's a yikes with a capital Y. <laughs> this is why you never let your children play in the washing machine. Oh, 
and this will get the 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 uh, power back on, possibly. Or maybe just some more creepy shit. Oh fuck! Excuse me. There's someone there. Stay low, Doc. I really can't see. Oh, I'm gonna beat the hell out of you, bud. Here we go. You ready? Oh! He just vanished! Oh, gosh. Gosh, good AJ whiz. Bad news. Oh, so spooky. So, is this sort of a Jack Torrance-esque um, situation happening here? You know, spent some time at the Ocean View Hotel. Everyone just went a little nutso. Do you know what I mean? Is that, is that what's happening? Got it. Turn them lights on, baby! Oh! Whoa, run? What am I running from? Oh! Oh! Oh, gosh. Oh, this is very bad, isn't it? Ow. Ugh. Whew, all right, I think we're safe. Immediately mauled to death, probably. Yep, I'm using it, turtle, don't you worry. God, this house is, this house, this place is so frightening. Yeah, right, the power's back on, right? So I can get use the elevator to go back upstairs now, perfect. <laughs> Oh, I don't like that one bit. Saved! See, this is really, I have to say, for a game from a specific era on a specific uh, engine, this is pretty impressive stuff. I would say this is as tense as something like Layers of Fear from just a few years ago. Oh, come on! Uh, oh. Madam? Madam? Ow. Madam, we have to t talk. Damn, she's gone. No. Oh, there's got to be a way to avoid these things. Whoa! The jukes! The jukes. Another body! Police say second child was chopped up like firewood! Well, that's not good. It's very true, Ritten. That's, that's actually... You make an excellent point. Oh, I don't like it. No, you know what I mean, though? It's the scripting. Somebody put this together, and it feels great, which I'm really impressed by. Oh, what do you want me to find in here? Oh, God. Do you want me to look under the bed? Is that what this is about? Do you want me to look under the bed? <laughs> Ooh, the doctor surgeon. He's quite scared, scared, scared. Oh, I see. Oh, oh, yeah, look at this. Look, there's Mummy and Tommy and Susie and her balloon. And then the Angry Demon Father. Perfecto. Um, can I heal myself? Blood heal. There we go. Great. Okay. Ah, Paximo! Welcome to the Dr. Surgeon MD! I'm just going to let you know, Paximo, I went to go try to exorcise some sort of demon from a hotel, and now we're caught in some sort of very spooky hotel situation. Just so you know, it's feeling a little spooktastic. I, I'm honestly a little frightened, if I'm being completely honest with you. I don't love it. <laughs> I don't just like it. I, Joseph Golden, love it. Uh-oh! All right, get down! Oh, fuh, everything's gonna explode! Get out! Run, Doc! Whoa! Run, Doc! Ugh. Excellent running, Doc. You did great. That's right, Matthias. I didn't even... I, I couldn't even make it work the first time. I had problems with the unofficial patch. Get out! Get out! No, not you, Dennis. Get in! No, get out! All right, go to... No, no, Dennis, not you! Get out! Get in! Um... All right, well, that was a good time. Exactly, Paximo, you get it. Um, 
Can't take the elevator yet. What was that? What the heck was that? Have I been up that way? Yes. Um. Hmm. Yeah, this is... Th oh, that's a great question, Kung Fu Fenris. This is the thing, though, is that... Um, oh, is there a door? No. Sorry, I, I can barely see on my own screen here. Um, it's the if written, yes, exactly. Uh, but there's something... Yeah, probably, eh? Uh, it's, it's the scripting of this sequence, which is fantastic. Oh, a, a key for the upstep. Uh, are we gonna run? Yeah, we're gonna run. Run! Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh, it's just a little child's toy. Ah! Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's just the hell mouth. Oh, we've got our blood strike active. Upstairs room key. This is very spooky. I'm sorry, can I help you? Um... This is very spooky, and I'm a big fan. Oh, there she is! Oh, yeah. See, that sort of thing, that's what I love. All right, well, thank you very much for that, madam. Oh, is this where they all died, or? Oh, that's gonna collapse. Oh. Oh. All right. Here we go. Hup! Oh, it's the bar! Yes, I'll have a... Um, <laughs> I'll have a blood and coke. What, right. Ocean house killer, probably responsible for Inferno. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, well, that certainly makes sense, doesn't it? Oh, these are all going to blow off the table at some point. Ha! Yeah, take that. Ah! Oh, God. Okay, so I can use the dumbwaiter, I suppose. Uh, yeah, well, that is uh, that is a severe understatement. Kung Fu Fen- Damn it, you're right, we have to get in the- Oh! Uh, to get in the dumbwaiter. Oh. Well, I'm just a little Tremere man! I'm just a poor boy from a poor family. He's just a Tremere, he doesn't know anything! You know what I mean? It's problematic. Um... Get out! Get out! Get this house is very- th like, this- this is very haunted. Oh, a diary! Excellent! Now let's go ahead and read the heck out of that. Uh, oh, perfect. Oh, Math- Matthias! Wah! Just arrived here, weekend holiday, Ed's booked us a room, it's been wonderful, the children have been swimming. I'm just skimming, you know, I understand. A hotel, everyone's dead, you know, I, I got it. Ed can't seem to stop asking about the locket I received. He seems to think it was sent to me by some other admirer. Excuse me. Sun is out, not a cloud in the sky. Silly Ed. Picnic for the guests. Ed is in a dark mood. Right, he was speaking to the groundskeeper to get an axe, obviously. Why? Why is there a whole thing dedicated to The Shining? What's happening here? We only have two days left. Ed won't speak to the children. He won't look at me. Uh, I'm going to call the hotel manager. Ed Jr. went to look for him downstairs in the basement. Ed is covered in blood. He's coming to kill me. I've locked myself in the bathroom. He's gone crazy. All right. Please help. All right. Hold on to your butts, everyone. I have a feeling this is going to go very poorly. Uh, that pot is going to fly at me. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Okay, no, it's fine. Whoa, 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 whoa! 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 They're everywhere! Oh, shoot! Oh, actually, I should just get out, huh? Oh! F <laughs> Run, duck! Run! Oh, go, duck! <laughs> Phew! Ah. Oh. All right. Well, thank goodness that's over. Yeah, phew, all done. That is very spooky, actually. I don't like that one bit. Oh, God, look how hurt I am. Be careful. 
I, I, th I just, I, if I don't, I'll keep my blood for now, but I have a feeling I'm going to, I'm going to need to heal before the, oh, very good, very good. Woo! You got me, ghosty! That was very good. Um, so I think it was only, I think it was just before the, the kitchen, but I'll save right after the kitchen next time, I think. But it's all right, that won't, that won't take too long. Oh, back here. Ugh. All right, well, anyway, we know where to go now, right? Go, we grab this, good, good. We go in here, do the dumbwaiter. I'll be able to speed run my unlife soon, won't I? All right, sorry about that, uh, folks. I'll, um, there we go. You'd th I, I thought quicksave sort of overwrote others, but apparently not. All right, we do this. Diary, and then we read the diary. <laughs> Virgil Crumb. Do this. We do this, we do this, we do this, we do this. Exit. And then he's coming. So we hide and we try to avoid too many pots and pans of damage. Can I open this? No, it's locked. Fine. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to try to avoid getting hit by quite so many flying pots this time. It's possible I'm going to get hit by more. I hope not. Actually, here, this seems like a relatively safe place. Whoa! Whoa! Woo! Open that damn door! I said open that door! There you go, thank you! Ah, oh, good, good, good. All right, we got it this time, team. All right. Oh, that was so exciting, Kung Fu Fenris! That was so exciting. Be careful. She even told me to be careful. Well, now I know. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go, go, go. Get in there. Ah. Whoa! Slam. Keep looking! Ooh, keep looking! Alright, well, I'll try. Ooh, shh. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, boy. Yeah, no, I know. I've played Half Life before. Huh? Oh! Oh, oh that almost went very poorly. Okay. Whew. Made it. Yeah, perfect. Rooms 208, 209, and 210. Try 210, nothing. Try 209, nothing. Try 208, no door handle. Uh, 207, 206. This door's been knocked out from the inside. Oh, this raises your dodge! Oh, yeah, great! <laughs> I feel like that's very appropriate right now. Am I? Uh oh. Doors locked from the inside, huh? A classic. All right, okay, all right, B buddy. Come and, come and get me, I guess? Oh, God. I don't, uh, uh. Um, oh, no. It was just red. My mistake, it was just the red light. Don't mind me. What have we got here? Murders unsolved. Mother or father could have been the Ocean House killer. <gasps> Gasp! Oh no! So her... Oh, I see. So her life... Uh, she's she's never been uh, exonerated from the murders. That's distressing. Well, justice for Lucy Lou. Sorry, uh, L Lucille Ball. Ah! What the hell, man? Come on. I'm just trying to... I'm just trying to avenge your wife, you creepo. Uh... I can't see anything. I just can't see anything. Oh, there's nothing in here. Close. No, fine. Oh, God, I can't see. What a disaster. Closet. Oh. Uh, 
Where's that music box coming from? Oh, I hate it. Uh, oh. I can't take it. I've closed the music box. Is that... Is that good? Ah! What the hell? Ah. A lamp. Classic. Okay, alright, okay. In interesting. Oh, something very bad is happening. Follow the lights, follow the lights. Save as well. Oh, do I have to? Kung Fu Fenris, I can't see down there. Why don't vampires have dark vision? Oh, wow! Good lord. Yeah! Hey, hey, you you sucker! Come here, get some, get, get some of the, oh, I saw you! I saw you, madam, ah, ah, oh god, ah. <laughs> This is so stupid. All right, let's get, you know what? You know what we're gonna need against a uh, uh, maniac like him? I can't see a damn thing. Ah, wow! That door really blew off its hinges. All right, you son of a gun. Show me what you got. I mean, what you got is an ax, and I don't, I don't, I don't like it, but we're gonna just get. All right. We must be almost there. Whew. Oh, gang friends, too. I, I love it written. For, for something like this, I really do like it, actually, because I don't want to miss anything important. If you know where the danger is, go towards... I actually really get um, a uh, layers of fear sort of sense out of this place. I really do. Up. Up. Excellent work, Doc. Up. Oh. What what's happening? What is that? Oh, I do not like the looks of this. I do not like green eggs or ham because they have gone bad. Uh, this does not look safe. I'm just gonna ah. What the heck is this? I'm just gonna keep going if that's all right with you, bud. Oh, oh. Oh, go, go, Doc! You know, oh, ow! Oh, son of a... Ow, what the hell? Damn it! Ah. Oh. Okay, well, I'm not gonna save now. You know what we need to get some maniac like this? A strongly worded letter. Yeah, hang on. I have the ability to heal. Eh. Can I do that again, or, uh... Effect lost. Let's do that again, shall we? Alright, and then back to strike. Okay. Save? Hello? Whoa! Oh, boy. <laughs> it's the pendant! Great! Time to exorcise this ghost! Oh, I, I can't, I can't see. I, I, I'm really having a lot of trouble seeing. This might be problematic. You retrieved the pendant to bring to Therese as payment. You've discovered a journal. A jealous husband murdered his wife. The murderous ghost of the husband means to keep her trapped here forever. And she seems to be trying to help you find a way to free her. Well, I'd love to free her. Does she speak British English? Uh, it's really, really hard to see. Uh, up, no. Mm, all right, hang on, I have to navigate via this um, way, I think. Further up, eh, Kung Fu Venerous? Really hard to see. I kind of want to go up there. Over the side of the wall. Yeah, maybe not. Hmm. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it, Kung Fu Fenris? All right, madam. Tell me how to save you. Yikes. Well, sure as hell not going down there. 
These little footprints? Oh no, that's the that's the smashing stuff where I came from. Oh oh no, this barrier now. Oh, the blood stains were slightly over the top, but I suppose some people enjoy their camp. There was no breakfast buffet that I could find. Fellow guests had a tendency to whisper in my mere ear, and the manager seemed intent on taking out his frustrations. Horrible. Uh, I don't think I should go towards that stuff. That seems bad. All right, the elevator opened for me, but obviously I'm not just gonna leap into it like a maniac. Maybe I am, actually. Maybe I am going to go... Paximo, the fact that you, you took so much effort into writing that out, I, I really appreciate it. Uh, as you know, Doctor's handwriting is famously, well, bad. Um, <laughs> the fall could hurt me, Kung Fu Fenris. Uh, it's famously bad, but uh, as you know, of course, that's for uh, doctor-patient confidentiality purposes. <gasps> it's the axe! I found you! Oh, axe to meet ya! Oh, yeah, here, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now get... Let me... Let me... I have to go back up. All right. Uh, we got to kill him with it, probably. All right, here we go. Oh, no, it's there. Uh, yeah, yeah, perfect. Okay. Up. And hop. Okay, good, good. This has been very exciting indeed. It's not every day I get to hunt ghosts. Normally I create them. Now, you son of a gun, I have your axe. Come get some. Oh, right, that one fell down, I forgot. Why? I'm supposed to help this person. But I'm supposed to help. But Kung Fu Fenris, look, look, I'll show you. I even wrote it in my journal. You retrieve the pendant to bring to trees, fine. You have discovered a journal. Uh, the murderous ghost of the husband means to keep her trapped here forever, and she seems to be trying to help you find a way to free her. Oh! I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. <laughs> we'll probably have to kill him. Yes, of course, of course. Therese will be able to help with that. Shan't she. All right, back to the strange way that I got into this mess in the first place. That is, I am never going back there if I if I can help it. Good lord. Woof. All kind of shrieking, not a moment of rest. <laughs> when I complained, I was told that the east wall was the outside wall. No one was on the 11th floor. <laughs> Naturally, that was just the way of the hotel administration for to <laughs> keep them from dealing with all the complaints. Uh, yeah, Kung Fu Fenris, I, 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 I will agree with that. Um, I'm still gonna put Ravenholm up there as well. That's, that is, uh, that is strong. That is a strong contender for this title. Uh, but of course, I've played Ravenholm a couple of times, and I've only played this thing once. So there you are. Yeah, uh, Half-Life 2, the third sort of chapter, uh, you go to a... No one goes to Ravenholm. Yeah, you know, you know, you know. Fast zombies, leaping zombies, something you've never seen before. Absolutely horrible. <laughs> never been done. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. Uh, to the club. Back to the club. We're gonna bring the pendant to Therese. Hey, Therese. Why is your sister so strange? Why are you so strange? I like your way you wear a business suit. Even at night, you're doing your business at night. <laughs> All right, we'll finish this off, so to speak. Uh, and then we'll, um, oh, Paximo, if you haven't seen Duck Club yet here, I'll just give you a little preview. Time to dance! Pre uh, bust a move! Oh yeah, oh yeah! Look at my magnetic personality! Come on, everyone, jam, jam with me! <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Oh, this guy's got great pants too. Oh yeah. Woo! Now, I've already done the humanity thing here, so I'm already as human as I can get. Oh, sorry for punching you. It's not really punching, I'm more sort of flailing. Well, that was great. Thanks for the dance, everyone. Excuse me, I have to go speak with my um, Ventru associate. Two, please. I mean, this is... What a wild universe. 
I love it. I am ecstatic. I agreed, Written. Thank you, Graspy Loot. I am Lux. Aren't I? Oh, no, it's you. Ugh. Hi. Not even a knock? I could have been undressing. And who knows what I would have had to do to you. Wait a minute. You're here to see Her Royal Majesty Queen Victoria. They're not the same person, are they? No, 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 yeah. Uh, yes, I need to see Therese. Therese is out making a show of how well her lips fit on the pants seat of the Camarilla. Very good, very good. Did you happen to find her chastity belt or something? All right, chill the hell out. I'd rather discuss so, this with Therese. Therese told me you might be back with something for her. Do you have it with you? I just you? don't trust you at all. I'm not giving it to anyone but Therese. You're not just some silly doll, you know. All my life. My I think I left them both at coat check, Paximo. Joke. She told you I was an embarrassment, didn't she? That I couldn't tie my shoes, let alone hold on to something for her. Is yeah. that it? I did. Uh, um, yeah, no, yeah, uh, no, 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 not at all. Here. Ah, she's lying. She's definitely lying. No. She's always belittling me. She's the smart one. She's the favorite. She's the successful one. Well, it's I... not fair. I'm not a fool. This club's success is just as much my doing as it is hers. I mean, for sure. I definitely uh, get that for sure. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Graspy loot, 100%. I'm with you there. I am waiting, Kung Fu Fenris. I'm going to point out, Graspy loot, I'm with you 100%. I, I imagine a lot of people enjoy Jeanette for her over-the-top uh, sort of uh, either sexualization or her... her, her Fun lovingness. Yeah, thank you. And Paximo's a nurse, Jeanette, okay? I'm gonna need you to unclench about 15 notches, please. All right, and here. Take 50 cc's of chill and just call us in the morning. I can't, Do I can't. Do you understand what it's like to have your own flesh and blood ripping you apart on a daily basis for two it's lifetimes? It's not like that. Can you? It's wait, li I really need to give this to Therese. Fine, you hold on to it. Hmm, since you're so willing to uh, big Yes, yes, I'll do you a favor. Sister. What is it? <laughs> is it giving you the pendant? <laughs> for little troubled me. Yeah, it depends, I suppose. Oh, okay, Kung Fu Fenris. I, well, Kung Fu Fenris, I wasn't planning on it, but, like, it depends on what it is. Do you know Gallery Noir down the street? I happen to know there's a charity event being organized there. Ooh. Lots of influential Santa Monicans slithering in for token appearances. Okay. But there's one thing they don't know. The whole event's it? been set up by a kindred trying to establish their own power click in our city. Oh. And we can't let that happen, can we? Oh. So I need some brilliant young Interesting. to spoil the milk. I see how it is. Oh, dear. Well, oh, I don't want to use the seductive one here. Oh. Because I don't. I prefer the other person. But you're right. <laughs> I promise this won't take long. Take this knife. Do it. Give the <laughs> All right. The gallery a good slashing. Ooh. Don't get caught and don't turn it into a massacre. And steal the charity box. Steal a charity box. Slash some art. It. Perfect. Do you need any surgical uh, techniques performed at the same time? All right. Good. I'll I'm go sure slash the paintings. The will be thrilled to honor your agreement when you get back. But in the meantime, get to the museum and ruin those paintings. Then pay me a visit. I want to hear all about it. Okay. Hurry up. I can only amuse myself for so long. Ugh. All right. I'd never intentionally keep you waiting, Jeanette. No, no, no. Be back oh, soon. There Goodbye. Was something about the paintings. Hmm, what was it? I can't remember. Oh, well. Have fun, Duckling. I will. Thank you. See you soon. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Do I have time to slash some paintings? I don't. But I'll go to the Gallery Noir, and then we'll call it a nice night. Shant, shant way. Oh, I can't wait to find out which Tremere is running the place. We'll, we'll, we'll go to the Gallery Noir, and we'll save there, and then... How am I going to get in? It was locked before. Yeah, I suppose we'll find out. I know, Graspy Loot! It's sad, isn't it? I'm just so gosh darned entertaining. But don't take it from me. Take it from this guy. Also me. <laughs> uh, all right. The Gallery Noir. Here I come. Do, 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 do. Charge. All right. All right. Um, you might have a what? I 
Great Fervor, what? A piece of mail? Oh my god, out of my way! Kung Fu Fenris! Is it possible that there is mail for me? Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah, 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 that's where I'm headed. It's possible that I have, like, a key or something, right? Oh, no, don't lockpick! Oh. Yeah, 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 we're going around the side. Good idea. Uh, sir? Okay, fine, fine, fine. I just wanted to talk to you. <laughs> you reload, Kung Fu Fenris! <laughs> oh no! Why didn't it autosave anywhere? Oh, what a disaster! Hang on a second, are you telling me? Are you telling me it hasn't saved once since then? Oh, for fudge sakes. That's fine. Don't worry about it. I'll save here. Uh, let's get out of the asylum again. Oh, perfect. Perfect. See? Perfect. Okay, we're here. Perfect. All right. Well, now now I'm definitely not going to do the thing, Kung Fu Fenris. Kung Fu Fenris, come on. I was just checking to see if it was locked. This is the guy who's shooting first and asking questions later. Hey, uh, I, I run security for this place. Bang, bang. Oh, are you trying to break in? You could have asked. I would have told you no. I'm not trying to break in. just want to get in. <laughs> well, that does make sense, doesn't it, Kung Fu Fenris? <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, let's go to the, cl uh, the gallery and we'll save right outside. That's what we'll do. And we won't touch the door anymore. Do 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 do. Oh, I thought that was a side street there. It's probably a little further down. Well, this has been very exciting. I'm just gonna save right here. Oh, okay, Kung Fu Fenris, I can do that. Hello. Hello, sir. Hmm. S sir. Save now that I have a moment. Uh, sir, where are you? Security guard. Excuse me. All right, where is he? Further down? No. There you go. Sir? Where the hell is he? Hmm. Kung Fu Fenris, do you know where he went? <laughs> sir? I probably did, honestly. Let's be real. I'm gonna call it here and I'll just try to- I'll reload a previous- uh, I'll make sure before the next stream that everything's fine and that the security guard is there. Don't worry, don't worry about it. Oh, good times. <laughs> Kung Fu Fenris does not like a good post chat, that's for sure. <laughs> Thank you all very much for joining me! I had such a blast! A terrifying blast. A blast of terror! Uh, there are streams all throughout the week that you can find out all about on the Discord. My social media manager is streaming again on this channel on Saturday at 1700, the waking side of the Dream Quest, the Dream Eaters, Arkham Horror. Very exciting. Thank you, everyone. Turtle, we're just saying goodbye. I got, uh, I didn't give the thing to uh, Clarice there, whatever, Teresa's sister, whatever her name is. Uh, Kung Fu Fenris, get some rest, okay? It's all right, Turtle, don't you worry. You can come back next week bright and early. All right, everyone. Uh, be sure to take care of each other, take care of yourself, drink lots of water, more blood, whatever your taste is, or some hot chocolate! I find... <laughs> I don't know. I need something... Oh, yes. If you ever find yourself in a haunted house, duck, stay low, you never know when something's coming for you, look up for falling elevators, alright? This is the Dr. Surgeon MD saying, Ta-ra!